Pick up graphic skills with creativity. Yeah, good day guys. <clears throat> Welcome to the graphic design training. I hope you guys are doing absolutely great. Right now, I want to do a kind of a tutorial on how you can use a light motion. I discovered that majority of us, uh, many people are finding it difficult to edit their video on their videos on align motion application. So today, I'm going to give you a tutorial on two sections. The first section will basically on uh, how to the explain the tools one after the other, the feature on uh, align motion, then their purposes. Then the section two will basically we are going to edit a project, very simple one, for us to be able to see how the application works. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive into this tutorial. Click on the align motion. On clicking the align motion, this uh, interface will pop up. This is just an interface, it's not an editing interface, but let's start from here. You will get this particular uh, Align Motion Pro on the description of, uh, of this video, so you can feel free to download it. When you click on these three line dots, you this three line you see what was there is a sh how you can sort in, just short in your video. You can sort your video by date, I mean your uh, project. You can sort it by date or by the name alphabetically or according to the dates in ascending order or descending order. Then you have uh, the manufacturer, uh, uh, social media, where you can follow them Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And that's all for that. We have this uh, profile icon where you can where you can register to be a uh, register to the application. So the benefit of that one is uh, this. Whenever you run any project, your project is saved. So when you log in to that application on another phone, you can be able to have an access to that. Then we have this area where we have getting started part one, part two. That is just a tip tutorial guiding you on how you can use the application. So after that, these are just short description that explain more about and the details about the application. But look at the bottom. We have the home button where we are then we have a tutorial tips where you see it getting started part one and others then we have the plus icon where you can go inside the editing interface you can see where you can select the resolution and other this is where you see your project then we have the element here now when you tap on this uh, you want to edit any project just tap on the plus sign then you see this is editing interview where you can set how the background size will be i like using 16 ratio 9 but though it depends on the kind of uh, video you want to edit that's what will determine your background size then you can use your custom size as well where you see this pencil you tap on it and you can edit this manually but let's use 16 ratio 9 then resolution should be 1080 why the frame rate will be 30 i like using the background to be in transparent when you click on it the drop down arrow then you select the transparent and click create object i mean create project then you have this when you look at um, the whole icon you see this whole icon i mean this whole interface this is an editing interface as you've seen it this is an editing interface but this particular area where my cursor is just running this is a preview area where your project will be displaying as you are editing it then the next thing that we have uh, apart from a, a preview area where your video will appear apart, about, uh, aside this then we have another one where we call timeline area timeline <clears throat> and this is the timeline this timeline area all the layer which include your official content which make up the project. Then we have a playhead. It is a playhead. The playhead indicates the point in time being shown in the preview. The point in time being shown in the preview. And that is that about this. Then we want to see, if you want to see more, you see this one is fading. This left arrow, that one is undo. I mean, this one is back button. 
this one is undo and this one is redo then we see this one is a uh, moving to the beginning you move your project to the beginning to the starting point while this one is adding point this is the play add then we have copy this one is a copy then we have this one which you normally use to mark an area where either want to split a video then after that, i have explained the timeline this is the setting area where you can set the film you see this is just a short about the uh, um, uh, what we did before this is a frame rate this is the background and this is the start the timer then we have save this is a save icon here which you can see then when you want to see, go directly into editing area you tap on this plus sign then you see all these are icon So the first one is this shape. You see the shape. You can select variety of shape here. It contains a lot of shape where you can work with. We have the image and video. You see this one contain the image and contain the video. This one allow you to enter your gallery and bring whether the image you want to edit or you want to edit the video. You have a viewer where you can access your folder on your gallery. We have the audio, the uh, template one. You already built one where you can select from. Then you can add your own. Or if you want it, then we have the element. The anything you have done before always will be around this place, which you can download later. Then we have free hand drawing. You can see you can draw whatever you want on the screen. As you can see, you can increase the size of the pencil if you want. You can see you can change the color to whatever you want here. You can say change the color. Then you can even choose another pencil. You can choose another pencil you can see it then this is another pattern you see this is another one then after that you can erase everything by clicking this then you increase the size you can have everything being erased so that is that about that then you can click on the back button you can click the undo then redo when you do it you can tap on the back then you can see the whole thing so after that you see we select this drawing because we draw we drew something so you have it deleted as well so after that we have a factor drawing you can see this is just a technical area where you can and uh, you can click on the you can draw whatever you want you see the shape when you look at it you can see it so you can draw like that when you have another one so you are moving you see this is just the factor drawing. You can move it the way you want. So when you go to the back, you see. So that is factor drawing. You can back, back, back. So that you back to the normal thing. And you can have it deleted. So when you click on it, we have the text area. This one allows us to load deco. So that allows us, you can change the font type the font we want to use and here let me teach you how you can import font into this you can view the font as you see it you see the many font that we have in here so if you want to add font this import font after clicking on these three dots you tap on import font then you can click on after loading you can click on import then you must know the extension of the font which is dot etf you see uh, this thing is taking much time so after loading you see these are my fonts directly to e, whatever uh, the location you put your font it automatically detected then you can open it this is a mega mega night you can see then you can go to another one if you actually have many fonts then you see them one after the other you can select the one you want so let's look at uh, let me just select one this is a morganite font boot then you import then you can see the the font is already imported here this is an imported font then it's automatically shown here so as you can see so whatever i want to type so after selecting you see morgan morganite you see it deco graphics so we have something like this sorry we have deco graphics 
so you can see something of this nature then you can trim it you can change the color if you want change it color to black then you can see you can increase the size at this area why you you are going to increase it so we will have a deco as you can see then this come here then you can see how to look this is how to just add a text so you can have the text being deleted automatically here so now after that we can add uh, this is the close button so on clicking on close button then everything is already in the there so the next thing we can select any shape as background here so when you select a shape as background then you can click on this dot sign is either you can flip it vertically or fit the screen as you can see or fill the screen when you fold the screen and you can do that by clicking the sorry you can click on this fill the screen when you fold the screen you come back and adjust manually to fit the screen and uh, this thing is actually and this is just a time frame so now after you select the shape if you want to edit or do anything with it that is when other option can show up we have an eye icon here this is where you can see when you click on this option will pop up where we can adjust and edit our or the layer so we have an eye icon beside it where we can hide our layer then after that when you tap on it let's take it for instance we have already clicked this then we select a particular shape let's say we select this particular shape and then after selecting the shape we increase it exactly like this so when you tap on that shape it will take you to where you can edit so you can see you tap on this where you can edit then we have a lot of uh, uh, icon here and um, a lot of editing tools this one is uh, allow us to cut to the left so let's take it for instance we want to cut you see we cut it from the left we cut it from the right you can see it we back then you can cut it from the you can cut into two equal parts then that is what that one meant for then the next thing is the sand area where you can in other sand and increase the sign then we have a color feed where you can feed any shape you see we are filling the shape then we back then this is a color field you can go to the you see you can use the gradient if you actually want you can use your gradient we can back then uh, we can we can go to the color uh, uh, palette area where we can use the color picker then we can select the kind of color that we actually want so after that one we we'll go to border and shadow under the border this is stroke under the stroke we can turn on the stroke as you are moving into this area you are giving the stroke then you can see how it look you see and you can change the color here you can change the color to whatever you want you go to the back you can off the stroke if you want then if you want your shape how you want the shape to look like you can tap on any at the bottom here then uh, we have uh, you must click on keyframe if you want this to be animated then we have a add border you can add the border how you want the body see inside z center or outside if it is outside then you can see how it look so we'll call it a stroke or border then we have uh, this last one if you want the how you want the border to be the shadow i mean the shadow then you can increase the shadow as you can see increase the shadow to black if you want it to be red or whatever you can see how it look so now we are we are we are moving towards the end of uh, explanation of everything then after that when you tap on uh, the project you see another option we call it uh, blending and opacity so if you want it to be darker then you can select whatever you want you can see or lighting this is just a blending mode where you can select we have a differences unlike the kind master you can do the same thing then we have a masking that if it is masking you want to use so masking in the sense that if you want to mask the inside then it will look transparent so another thing can be showing under under this you can see and that thing can be showing there or you tap on this you see so let let assume you tap on rectangle 
then you can see it you see what i'm saying so it will be showing under this that is blending and opacity so let's assume that under the masking we don't mask anything or we back we back then fine after that the next thing is move and transmission you see and transform so if you want that the next thing that we need to do is that we have a movement uh, arrow here so where you can when you when you want to move it so we have to sorry we have to tap on whatever we want to do so let's tap on move and transform so if you want to move you move to this particular area and uh, if you want to spin you tap on this while you you click on the keyframe then you move to this particular area you tap on the keyframe then you roll it you see it you roll it to whatever you actually want then let's play it you see so let it go back you see can you see so if you want it to be slow you can click on this uh, graph we call it graph then you move it to you, you you move it to the center here then you can move your graph move it to this particular area then you can actually move this as well move it to this particular area then you tap on play we can play it and see so let it begin then you can see you see how it was rolling can you see so and again if you want it to 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 slow more we can we can go to the middle again then we have it slow so let's look at it now let's look at it so you see it's not as fast as before depend on how you want it so we normally use this particular graph to slow the speed of this particular uh, to slow slow the speed of our any object that we animate so when we play it like this you see how it look then we can go back then the next one is this if you want uh, you want to scale out you want to scale out your design or you want to scale in and this is uh, we have another one we we'll call it the last one we call it path perspective so if you want it to you want to use perspective either to the left or to the right here you can see how it was blending you can see that then we have uh, you can reset the transform or reset this queue this queue is that graph i was telling you if you don't want it you can reset then you reset the transform you see everything turn back to normal and this is the keyframe before you animate you must click on keyframe and this is back and that is that about the move and transform you have editing shape which you can see this is where you can edit everything you want you see if you want it to be too many you can see very good then the outer area if you want it to scale out or scale in the inner radius if you want to scale it in or out then the angle how you want it if you want it to be rotated then you can animate at this particular area we we'll call it editing you can click on the keyframe then you move it to this side you tap on the keyframe then you click back on this on getting here then you can actually uh, uh, do whatever you want with it so if you want it how you want it then you can just do that and you play you see very simple then you go to you can back it depending on how you want it you can go to the back then after that you tap on we tap on this again you can see then we have a uh, editing shape this is where you can just edit your shape the shape you selected as i said you see you can edit it depend on how you want it so after editing the shape you go to the effort you can add an effort to this tap on adding effort depend move along part or you want it to rotate so let us assume we click on this which you can see we can we can increase it if we want orientation we increase the target has been on the insert and outset the offset then we can play you can see it see how it look just look at it so all these tools is what we have uh, explaining so far there's nothing hidden there and when you finish your work you can just tap on these three dots and save to my element 
if you want to save as element and you tap on this this one option will pop up where you can save the project and you save the project preparing to export then you see the work everything we just exported you can play at the end of everything which you can see the new project six then you can open an automatic an automatic save